What is up, guys? Welcome back to another Tips and Tricks, this time for events. And the first event I'm going to cover is obviously Thug of War being the event that's actually live right now. Thug of War also commonly known as Capture the Flag because, believe it or not, that's what it actually all is. Just capturing flags from other teams at the end of every round. Now, since it is a an attack, defend, uh, sort of basis, real life event where you actually, where your actual defense counts and people will actually be attacking you, it is a good idea to just to make it harder on enemy teams to put up your defenses. So if you don't know how to do that, you just go on every monument you have in your island and just put it up you can start off with 24 hours first if you don't have enough and then just work your way to adding it up oh by by mistake i put 30 there but it's all right uh you can do that with every monuments remember there's total of one two three with this one four and there's five and then there's for me, there's only six because that's that's the that's what my um, my actual defenses are covering. I don't have any more defenses, as you can see. So you want to put up your defenses till the point where your defenses are actually covering. So here I, I've got a blank island, uh, so I'm going to put only six. If you have it till here, you have to put seven. This one being the seven. Uh, anyways, going to the event. Uh, I'm going to give you the best I can. Uh, tips and tricks i've actually completed the event this morning being saturday it's only been out for a day and i've actually completed it relatively quickly i've actually gotten all prizes i've gotten everything i've actually used a little over 400 energy i believe not energy packs energy and i've used i think a grand total of 220 not even not even 220 inner fires if your idea is maxing out the actual event well then uh, you might want to think about investing some inner fires and some energy packs into this you're gonna have to have these if you want to max out the event if you just want tips on how to get the best amount of points uh, with what you got well i'm pretty happy to just pop up and give them to you uh, so what i did is uh, obviously put up my defenses then you obviously have to go after the teams that your actual uh, officers marked which are the ones marked in red uh, as it is a team based event don't just go after the points because you might want to you might start actual 1v1s versus a team that you're not going to cover and that just makes that's that's just going to make you lose flags and you don't want that as the team rank is also important because that's what's going to pay out at uh, the moment we're second which is not bad i used to be third actually in the world ranking uh, the the more no the night that it came out i used to be third in the world ranking if you don't believe me there's a picture right here and uh, i'm now 109th uh, with 112,000 points obviously i stopped after 112 because there's really no point of putting even more points uh i've already got 112 i've got all the prices i'm probably gonna attack and help my team now with the energy i accumulate every three hours which is a maximum of 16 so that's four attacks some people i've actually got people that say oh dude i'm gonna do super attacks because that's that's quicker that's the best way you can get points you get a lot of points well you don't super attacks is just a psychological way of making you believe that you're getting more points for one attack only but you're not because one super attack is worth 20 energies you could do five attacks with that amount. You could do five attacks at, so let's say, I know for certain that uh, the best amount of points you can get with three inner fires per attack, with Valor of 100% active and a full bonus meter, you can get a maximum of 740 points around that. That's if the original attack is 371. So you could probably get a 371 attack on a pretty high end player and you're going to be able to get for 740 points maximum using the three ender fires now if you use the super attack you would probably be able to get maybe a little over a thousand but that's stupid and i'm sorry if i say this and i'm sorry if i offend people that are actually using it but it is because if you think about it 20 energies for 1100 points when you could get five times 720 which is 3600 you could get three times the amount you're getting for one attack if you just did five different attacks so just think about that that's why you should never use super attacks obviously rounds last six hours roughly five hours and at the end of every round your valor resets so make sure you use Valors at the start of a round so that you can actually use that for the whole period. But the bonus meters lasts for as much as you attack. So as long as you keep your streak of attacks active, it'll stay at 29 minutes, 28 minutes. It will stay there for the whole five hour period if you attack for five hours. After the end of the round, it will reset as well. So your bonus meter will reset at the end of every round. I thought it didn't simply because it said here that uh, it will reset after you uh, stop uh, streaking your attacks but apparently it resets also at the end of every every round so make sure you, 
you actually end up with a bonus 4 meter roughly at the start of the round. So Veilers, yeah, give you 100% attack points. So, but how do you use the combination of all these things? Well, first of all, you want to start using inner fires only when your bonus meter is filled. You don't want to start using inner fires before that because you could get much more points if you used it when your bonus meter was full than if it wasn't simply because of the extra bonus one other thing uh, to use inner fires so you don't just use inner fires just by putting it on one dragon attacking a base and then ending it with one dragon you want to use all three dragons that you can have in one attack remember you can switch out three times in one attack and you can pop inner fires on all three of those dragons that will triple your points so do that please i'm just going to give you an example here a drink against dragon corpse i believe these are pretty strong so i'm going to have to pick a level 152 and i, I have no bonus meter full i i've, I've got nothing so it's going to be just going to be only for uh, for test purpose. So I'm going to just show you. So when you actually select your dragon, I'm going to select Nightshade. You can put any sort of things, plus 30% dragon attack, plus 30% dragon HP. And here you can obviously pop your inner fire. I'm obviously not going to put it because there's really no sense as I've already maxed out the event. And uh, once that's on, make sure it is attack. And uh, even if you can max out the base, you can do 100% with one dragon, switch it out. Please switch it out because that's that's the whole point of inner fires. It's to use it on all three dragons you have available. As I said, make sure your uh, your bonus meter is full before you actually use them. But let's say mine is, even though it's at zero percent. But make sure um, you have it on and you're attacking. Everything's going well. Blah blah blah. That's why that's why I love Nightshade because he's just a beast against. The only thing that fucks up uh, Nightshade is Ice Turrets. But apart from that. There's nothing that can really be... So yes, our Nitro's got a bit of health left. Gotta say, this uh, this base was pretty tough. I'm only level 130 and I went up against a level 160. So let's do this, let's do that. Let's get rid of this. We're still alive, we're still alive. Hopefully we can actually finish off the attack just with Nightshade and then we can pop back in later. To get rid of this, we're gonna use this. And this and this. Okay, so he died out. Even if he didn't, I would have switched out for another dragon and I'm gonna use Snowdrop. Uh, it's, it can be any dragon you want, literally, as long as you just use one. Um, obviously, if, if my Nightshade would have died out way earlier, I would have used a stronger dragon as I had to cover more of the base. But here, we're at the final stage, so I can even pop uh, probably my weakest dragon. But I'm not. For for purpose of Snowdrop, I'm not going to waste any multipliers. And as Snowdrop has finished them, selected, obviously I'm going to deselect it. But make sure you select it for people that want to use it. And uh, you finish off the attack. And before you finish it off, you switch out again. You can use three dragons. That's three inner fires. That's three times 100 multipliers on your points. And the last dragon I'm going to use is probably uh, Vulcan. Select it. I'm obviously going to deselect it because uh, I finished the event. And now you can finish off the attack. It will give you triple the points. That's the whole point of inner fires. And as I said, I'm going to repeat it 100 times. Use this only when your bonus meter is filled. Never before that, because it's just a waste. It's a, it's going to be a waste of points that you could you could have had. And since inner fires are a limited number, so I don't know how many you guys have. You can comment in the in the comments below. I'll probably give you some sort of uh, way of handling them out the best you can. Uh, but uh, I think well, I used 400 energies and around 200 inner fires, and I've completed it in a little over a day and a half. So you could do it as well. For you guys that don't know, the way you actually win over another team, an opponent team, is if you have 1,000 points difference. So the bros over Dragon Corpse at the moment, we have around 700 points difference. We have 700 points more, uh, but that's not going to do it. We have to have 1,000 points more at the end of the round. Otherwise, we're not going to take the flag home. Uh, here against Japan Dragon, we are. Uh, against Scoundrels DRC, we are. And against Blitz Strings, apparently we're not. We're actually going to lose it. Because there's a huge difference. But that's how you actually win it. That's how you win over different teams. Now, at the end of every round, everything will reset. So your Veiler, your bonus meter, and the cost of energy packs. At the beginning of every round, the cost of energy packs is one. So for one, you can buy 16 energies. And it will stay like that for three. So you can buy three times one energy packs. And then it'll go to two. And you can do it three times again. And then it'll go to three. And you can buy it three times and then it will go to four 
and then you can buy it three times, and then it will go to five, and you can buy it three times again. So every time you can buy it three times, and the, the amount will increase and increase every single time. I think at the cost of five or maybe six, it'll jump to eight. And I, don't th I think there's like seven is missing or something. You can't buy it for seven. I think it jumps off to eight, but uh, yes, don't go that far. I mean, if you have a limited amount of energy packs, I would only buy them till the cost of three. After that, at the cost of four, don't buy them because it's there's no point. You have to save energy packs for, for next events as well because inner fires and energy is actually used in a lot of events. So you want to be ready for those as well. But yeah, make sure you actually buy those, those energy packs for cheap at the very beginning of every round. And the rounds last five hours each. And there's a total of 17 rounds. Even if you have to set yourself an alarm for that time, do that. Please do that. So how do I build up my bonus meter? You build up your bonus meter by attacking. So you gain, I believe, 2% for every attack. It'll increase every time. And then after 70%, every attack will count you 10%. But I think there's a total of around 10 to 14 attacks to actually fill up your bonus meter. But it's, it's a bit of energy that you have to waste. It is actually a bit too much, I believe, to fill up a whole meter. You have to do way too many attacks to fill it up. So they should have maybe decreased it a little bit. But uh, it's not impossible. And how do you keep it filled up? just attacking just keep on attacking as you can see now I've, I've done one attack there's a brackets with 25 minutes left that means if i don't attack for 25 minutes the bonus meter will reset and if i keep on attacking every single time it will just stay filled and it will fill up even more every single time so imagine this was at 100 percent already filled up i could do two hours and 20 minutes worth of attacks after that at the end of the round it will reset automatically there's nothing you can do about it the most amount of points you can get the top price is 112,000. that means that you would have to do 151 attacks with inner fires that means that you have to have roughly 454 inner fires obviously i didn't have 454 inner fires so i did a lot of attacks without but if you have this amount you can just do 150 attacks and you're done you've, you've maxed out the uh, the actual event but but again i don't know what your what your aim is. I don't know if you aim for an event to get sigils. I don't know if you aim to get a good team rank or if you want to aim for a personal rank. I don't know. Whichever it is, this is probably the best way to uh, to actually go a thug of war. The, the thing is about this is that it's more quick pace than a like normal capture the flag because capture the flag usually the, the rounds last for like 20 hours. But here it's it's relatively quick because they only last five hours so you have to be careful to actually fill up your uh, your energies every time at the end of every round you have to be able to actually time yourself with the bonus meter be able to use that to its maximum before it actually fills up at the end of the round there's a lot of things that you have to actually consider but you know if you just do this every time and use the three inner fires with three different dragons per every attack you're gonna be good to go i mean i can just show you how many flags i got this round uh, i got i got so many that it filled the whole thing around the, just literally the whole island is filled up but to do uh, remember to put your base up make sure to actually set yourself time don't go into this because uh, you have to, you are actually going to be there hours trying to attack so try to put the the do not disturb symbol on you can actually do that with uh, with an ios device so that no one actually bothers you because sometimes you have pop-up messages popping up clicking with a tap with uh a hunter you just randomly click the chat and it will actually quit the game and go to the chat and whatever if you had inner fires on it would have wasted your inner fires and stuff like that you want to avoid that so you do it at the very beginning of a round put your fill up your bonus first without using inner fires to fill up your bonus you could actually use the veilers as well because the veiler use like lasts till the end of the round so you could put your veiler on 100 percent or 25 percent whichever it is that you have start filling up your meter start attacking without inner fires and then when you see your 100 percent bonus Put those inner fires in and that's it that's literally it and do attacks just constantly do attacks never try do the super attacks just to get a quick way out of it don't you want to use every single one of those energies literally but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this helped if you have any questions just put them in the comments below i'll make sure to answer them and as always guys drop a like take care peace out